For more than 80 years, Chopin Technologies has focused on providing the cereal industry with quality control tools and methods meeting its needs. Specifically designed for the milling and the baking industries, the SD-Matic measures the level of starch damage in flour. During the milling process, starch granules are damaged to a greater or lesser extent, depending on the hardness of the grain, the preparation of the wheat, and the mill settings. Once damaged, starch absorbs 10 times more water. It absorbs water starting from the flour hydration phase. Starch damage is therefore a key factor in determining the behavior of the dough during mixing. Starch damage also directly influences the behavior of dough during fermentation and thus affects the volume of finished product as well as its color. A lack of control over the level of starch damage can lead to a number of problems during the processing of flour into baked goods. For example, sticky dough that is hard to handle either by operators or machines, lack of fermentation leading to a lack of volume and a reduced shelf life of finished product, quality defects like color and cracking in the baked product. There is an ideal level of starch damage for all baked goods and therefore a way to identify and maintain this level in production is needed. The Chopin SD-Matic is the result of several years of research and development. The SD-Matic provides a simple, rapid and accurate measurement of starch damage in flour. Proof of the accuracy and quality of its measurements, the SD-Matic is recognized by many international standards. Making a test is quick and simple. The result is available in less than 10 minutes. The device measures the speed and capacity of flour dissolved in an acid solution to absorb iodine. Iodine has the characteristic to very rapidly bind to damaged starch granules. Before the flour is introduced, the SD Maddox electrode generates iodine in the reaction bowl. The device continually measures an electric current that is proportional to the quantity of free iodine in the solution. Once the flour is added, the iodine binds to the damaged starch granules. The greater the reduction in the current intensity, the greater the proportion of starch damage. The result is then displayed as a percentage of the iodine absorbed or any other international standard unit. Instrument Video Library. Today we will be going over the s for our Chopin product line. In order to run your unit, you will first need to turn it on. The power button is located on the rear of the device next to the power cable. All you need to do is switch the device on and it will be ready to run. After the device is powered on, you will have a few items that come with the unit in order to run a test. You will have the rinsing bowl, the reaction bowl, the sodium thiosulfate sulfate dropper, flour spoon, and distilled water sprayer. In order to create the solution for the sd -Matic, you will need two chemicals, flour, and distilled water. The chemicals are 1.5 grams of citric acid, 3 grams of potassium iodide, and 1 gram of flour, along with 120 milliliters of distilled water. In order to prepare the solution, you will first take 120 milliliters of distilled water and pour it into the reaction glass. You will then take the 1.5 grams of citric acid and pour that in next. And the three grams of potassium iodide go in after that. When all of that is into the unit, all you need to do is put one drop of the sodium thiosulfate into the reaction bowl. And that's it. In order to start a test, you're gonna weigh out one gram of flour onto the flour spoon, and you're going to place the reaction bowl with all your chemicals underneath the device. After your flour is weighed, you will carefully take the flour spoon and insert it directly under the screen into the metal slot. At this point, all you need to do is press test on the screen, enter in the flour weight, it is one gram of flour, plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. Since we were at one gram, we would leave it. You will have a hydration basis, and you'll have a protein value of the flour. Once all that information is put in, all you have to do next is press test, and the device will start up. 
After your machine has started, it will heat to 35 degrees Celsius before the countdown starts. After it has reached its temperature, it will walk through all six steps of measuring the starch damage throughout the flower. After your test has stopped, you're going to lift up and you're going to remove the reaction bolt. You're going to then pull the clean off the side, lower this down, and you're going to use distilled water and spray off the probes for any of the sodium thiosulfate that still remains. After it is thoroughly cleaned off, you can either leave it down to rest or you can remove the solution and use a paper towel to wipe off the back plastic. You want to make sure that you are not in contact with the glass probe or the heating element as it may still be hot. After you are finished with the cleaning procedure, all that's left to do is replace the reaction bowl filled with distilled water only underneath and close the unit. That is the resting place for the bowl and that is the way that the unit should be placed after all tests are completed. We hope this presentation was useful. For more information on our products, please visit us at www.kpmanalytics.com. Thank you and have a great day.